so today I wanted to do a really quick video, just kind of a cloth diaper changing table tour. Calvin has decided to join us. You may see him wandering around. His bookshelf is right there and he likes to take all of his books down. So you may see a big giant mess over here by the end of the video. <laughs> so I guess let's just start over in this corner. This is his laundry basket. That's dirty laundry. These are where we keep all of our wet bags, the big giant ones. These are the big giant ones that we put all of his dirty diapers in. Here's a pile of clothes that he's gonna be wearing tomorrow, probably. That's his dresser over there. So here we have the changing table. So I guess let's start up top. We just have a regular old, you know, like $15 changing pad from Target. My mom actually sewed up this cover. Most of the covers we have are ones that my mom has made for us. These are all of our cloth uh, wipes and we just keep them in a big old pile for now. We might wet them once the new baby comes. We just keep them dry and then just use some spray stuff on them when it's time to use them. So this is just kind of an informal little pile here. Over here on top of his bookshelf, we do keep some wet wipes. We still use, you know, like regular store-bought Huggies wipes every once in a while, so we keep those in there. We have some lotions, hand sanitizer, hand sanitizer, that kind of stuff, and some of Calvin's books that don't fit on his shelf. So for his actual shelf, we do keep some baskets here on the bottom. I just want to run through those first. We have the disposable overnight diapers down here. Whenever Calvin stays the night with somebody else, we tend to send him in disposables for overnight just because his overnight diaper is kind of big and bulky, so it's a little bit easier to just throw those on when he's staying with somebody. We have some wet wipes like for the diaper bag, um, just other lotion and random little, you know, trial size things that you get in like different baby registries and stuff like that. And here we do have a couple hemp inserts. These are the GMD hemp inserts and these are the small ones. I bought these intending to use them with the new baby, but they do actually work really well as boosters for Calvin as well. And then we also have size large GMD organic cotton uh, prefolds. We don't use prefolds a ton, but I bought these when I was first like establishing our diaper collection. I thought I would use them more, but I kind of figure we're going to use them as like, uh, I don't know, like a an extra barrier on top of the changing pad like when the new baby comes because I remember having to change the changing pad like all the time with Calvin like he'd pee while you're changing him or you'd get some poo on it or something so if I just have this protector on top and that gets dirty it's easier to throw in the bag than to take the whole changing pad uh, cover off if that makes sense so that's probably what I'm gonna end up using these for once the new baby comes. In this we just have uh, extra changing pad covers, sheets, and waterproof mattress protectors and stuff like that. Just random stuff in there. And then over here we have our baby books. We've got Calvin's baby book and then my baby calendar and my baby book from when I was a baby. Justin's mom still has his. We don't have that one in the collection. So now for the exciting part. This is the fun part. Let's start over here. We have some flats folded up, actually ready to be put on baby over here. These are mostly, <coughs> what? <laughs> the GMD muslin flats, which, which I just recently got and I'm super in love with. We also have, this one is a Nikki's bamboo flat, which are super awesome as well. So I just keep a couple stacks of those just in case I do want to fold them on him. Sometimes I just kind of want him to wear a flat. Sometimes I just have flat days. <laughs> I also have some pad folded flats to just be able to throw inside of the cover super easily. What is it? These include GMD bird's eye, some uh, flower sack towels, room essentials from Target, uh, some more of those Nikki's um, bamboo flats, just like a little combination of things there. So we have already ready to go overnight diapers here. We use Thirsty's covers with a Thirsty's hemp insert, the bigger size, the size two, um, little fleece liners, and a fitted diaper. Some of the fitted diapers are GMD brand. Some of them are pre-folds that I have sewn into fitteds. And then back behind there we have ready to go overnight diapers that just don't have covers. So if the other covers are like in the wash or something, I'll just throw them on here once we get them out of the wash. Next we have our everyday, normal, all the time diapers. I just have a regular cover here just in case I want to do like a pad fold or a flat fold inside the diaper, just a regular cover there. And 
also just all ready to go diapers. We use Buttons brand with a variety of inserts on the daily. That's our go-to. Like all of our daytime covers are all buttons and we love buttons. <laughs> this one is Dapper just in case you're wondering and this one is Fiesta. It was one of their summertime uh, limited edition ones. I'm not sure if they're still available. And this is Courage, their yeah. camera one. So yeah. next we just have fleece liners. Some of these are regular, you know, store-bought fleece liners. Some of them are just a blanket that I cut up into mm. fleece liner shapes. And lastly over here we have our snap-in inserts. And yes. we have a variety, like I said. We have Best Bottom Hemp. Yep. We also have some buttons. These are the bamboo cotton. We have Best Bottoms bamboo cotton. And then I also have some homemade ones that are, these are Dandelion brand bamboo cotton pre-folds that I turned into snap-in inserts. So yeah, that's about it. That's pretty much our whole collection. I mean, we have stuff in the wash right now, so this isn't everything, but there's an example of everything that we have. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did like it. I hope this was somehow helpful for any of you just starting out and kind of just wondering how to organize things. Some people do like to use baskets and just throw their diapers into the baskets, but I like to have everything all set out and ready to go. So like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you next time. Bye. You say bye? You say bye to the camera? Bye. <laughs> <laughs>